Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee or GEAC, which functions under the Union Environment Ministry, has approved an application seeking environmental clearance of indigenously developed genetically modified or GM mustard seeds. This will pave the way for the commercial use of the country's first GM food crop. However, several biosafety mechanisms have been ignored during the approval, according to experts. India first allowed GM cultivation in 2002 with genetically modified cotton. This would be the first time since then for the approval to grow a GM crop for consumption by the masses. GM mustard was indigenously developed by Professor Deepak Paintal, former Vice-Chancellor of Delhi University. An expert committee under GEAC has accepted a scientific dossier by Paintal in lieu of the clearance. The Indian Council of Agricultural Research approved post-environmental release studies on pollinators like honeybees, clearing the last hurdle. The regulatory clearance for GM mustard means the crop is fit for environmental release, but Prime Minister Narendra Modi-led Union Government is expected to take a call on whether to allow it. The commercial growth of GM mustard will have several consequences for crop diversity and pose a threat to food security. However, the centre believes allowing GM crops is integral to its goal of attaining self-sufficiency in edible oils. According to GM Free India, a coalition of activists, the second GEAC clearance to the crop was unscientific and irresponsible and didn't have any additional basis for decision making. What the GEAC in the Ministry of Environment and Forest has done is absolutely irresponsible and objectionable. GM mustard is a herbicide tolerant crop. It is toxic uh, as per the biosafety dossier submitted by the crop developer uh, itself, which is a center in Delhi University. And it also has no yield advantage uh, or uh, efficacy to offer. For the regulator to irresponsibly say that this should be approved for India is something unacceptable for us. And we will make sure that the government of India does not move forward on this irresponsible decision by the regulator.